Here's our raptor. It's a sub-adult. Still got the spots on the back and the orange breast. And we'll just see what we got here. Got a prenup for us. I would say this is probably a, just a young adult. It's got the orange bars on the breast feathers, but still got the spots on the back. That's our sharp shin. Well, we'll check out and see what happens here. Where are they working those feathers? Well, I say everything comes to this tree. Just trying to figure out what we got here. Still has the juvenile dappled spots on the back, but has the uh, orange breast feathers, so definitely excited about it. I get it on the big screen, but pretty sure this is our sub adult Cooper Hawk. Got the adult breast feathers ready, but still got the dappled spots on the back. at the Heritage Farm in a perfect hunting tree. Getting ready to try to catch another bird. Flew in with chasing birds and circled and landed up here in the tree. And now we're going to get a good video. It's just so unusual to see those white dappled spots when they have the Orange breast feathers ready. But that just means it's a young adult. Check the eyes, see how big they are. Really looking. Wants to catch a little breakfast. Well, we like that. Came down early, and uh, usually we get a juvenile Cooper off hunting here, and today, Back. We got there. Sub adult sharp shin hawk. Still has the dappled spots, but has the orange breast feathers. He's like a full grown adult Cooper. More sharp. He had the orange bars just like the Cooper. But Cooper doesn't usually have the spots on the back like that. Alright, now we'll watch the tail here. Going to preen up for us. Excited. This is what I call the lucky spot. You spend enough time here, you'll see just about anything. Here go, we even got a peregrine here. <laughs> you know, she fans that tail out, and if there isn't much uh, curve to it, then we know it. You can see the difference between the coop and the sharp shit that way. Alright, yeah, good looking bird. How lucky is this? What a treat. Yeah. If it gets older, it'll get rid of those spots in the back. But this is a sub adult, still got the white spots. Good looking bird. Wow. Preening up for us. Spread that tail so we can really see it fanned out. <laughs> throws you for a curve when you see those white spots. I don't think that the Cooper Hawks does that. I haven't seen any with their breast feathers all in with spots on their back. But sharp shins they do. This is their sub-adult, young adult. Okay, really looking now. There's a lot of birds feeding them, small birds, and that's why our sharp shin is here. All right, I'd like to see her turn around here. You get a good view from the front. You just see uh, along the wing side, you can see the orange, but. 
which flew in and his orange breast. Oh yeah, work them feathers. As long as she's been a preen, we'll watch her. And the female sharp shins, they're uh, about the size of a male cooper hawk. The male sharp shins are really tiny. And off it goes after the bird, really putting it on. Yep, sharp shin is quick. You just see if it comes back in. It's like it landed over in the other tree. Alright, I'll see if I can zoom in on that. Sometimes I get lucky that way. I'll just see. It's not going to focus for me. There we are. Yep. We'll watch for a little bit. And see. What I'm going to do now is really intent on the bird. So, call that pretty much good. Looking around. Gave us a good view this morning. Sub-adult sharp shin hawk hunting at the Heritage Farm. How lucky is that? <laughs> All right, then. Well, I think we can call that good, then. We got what we needed here. <laughs>